The thousands of people that work in the offshore helicopter transport industry take great pride in what they do. They're highly skilled, thoroughly trained, and they work with some of the most advanced technology in the world. Health and Usage Monitoring Systems, or HUMS, measure the performance and health of critical mechanical systems within the helicopter, providing advanced warning of potential problems. By analysing data each and every flight with sophisticated algorithms, the HUMS provides maintenance teams with the information they need to ensure safe operation of the aircraft. Heli Offshore is providing a global opportunity for the helicopter industry to collaborate on a shared commitment to safety. Our goal was to identify each company's best practice. This was then verified and incorporated into the best practice guidance document. This document has now been shared with more than 30 organisations globally. These include operators, regulators, OEMs, oil companies and some of the leading experts in HUMS Aviation. The HUMS best practice document really gives tangible sort of guidance to the, to the operators to say this is what you should be doing, this is best practice. They're not some bolts of how we actually use the HUMS system. This HUMS best practice document is the result of the leading experts in the field worldwide working together to share lessons learned with each other. What matters now is the implementation. The collaboration of Heli Offshore's HUMS best practices has certainly benefited PHI's HUMS program. Working together, we can drive continuous improvement in HUMS system designs and utilization. Westar is extremely committed to HUMS. I'm a staunch advocate of the system and truly believe that when used correctly, it's a very powerful tool. Correct training and understanding is fundamental to the successful implementation of any HUMS program. There's no doubt over the years HUMS has become an excellent system and the development of the Heli Offshore Best Practices document applied correctly should enhance the management of the system and help the drive for safety in offshore helicopters. Used effectively, it gives engineers the data that they need to make the decisions that prevent technical failures and ensure that every aircraft is ready for safe flight. Now stakeholders from across our industry can take advantage of the significant safety benefit available by using HUMS in accordance with our guidance document. HUMS does cost money, but the leading operators, large and small, are convinced of its value. Including operators from around the world in the HUMS group will enable us all to benefit from the experience of others and hopefully provide incentive for all involved to implement best practice. Implementing a HUMS program adds value by improving assurances around aircraft airworthiness and proactive maintenance efforts. This is good news for everyone who travels offshore as now not only are the helicopters subject to rigorous inspections, the HUMS systems are now managed to a globally agreed standard. Really this isn't the the end of it in terms of producing a document that sits on the shelf. It's really something that we, we want operators to and the industry to pick up, to use uh, and to be live. We encourage you to get involved, read this guidance, look at how you can change your operation for the better. I really want to thank those who've been involved in the working group and everyone who's reviewed the document and offered advice on making it a success. This is something that's going to make a real difference in the front line in our industry, and it's a great step forward for safety.